All right, what's going on guys? So today we're gonna be crushing the public gym. We're gonna be putting up some overhead press PRs, just hitting some upper body. We're gonna do some overhead press, some rows, some shoulder work and some tricep work. So we're gonna be hitting a full upper body workout. Should be fun. So I'm just warming up on the overhead press here. I didn't film the first couple sets, but you guys know my warm-ups are very simple. Just slowly ramping up to the heaviest set, to my working sets. And, you know, I do 40% of my working set, 50%, 70%, and then finally 80%. And then I rest 3-4 minutes, and then I go into my heavy set, which is this one right here, which is 145. And I got 6 reps. So the overhead press is probably the hardest exercise, to be honest, along with, you know, deadlifts, squats as well. So, you know, it takes a lot out of you. That's why it's the first exercise in the workout. It's the biggest lift. And that's how you want to structure your training as a natural lifter. Big movements first and then finish off with some smaller stuff. So then I rested about four minutes, dropped the weight about 10%, and I went down to 130. And I'm going to go for a couple more reps. I got eight reps here. So... Every exercise that I do first in my training sessions is done with reverse pyramid training because the reason being is because you want to lift heavy at the beginning of your workout. Too many people do pyramid style training where they ramp up to the heavy set and by the time they hit the heavy set, they're, they're fatigued. In straight sets, you're not really lifting near your actual potential, and your true capabilities. So you always want to start heavy, the really heavy set, and then you know you can slowly, as your energy... Uh, goes down throughout the workout you can do lighter stuff that's how you want to structure your training always lift heavy when you're fresh so this was 115 and i got 10 reps so I took off about 10 percent rested four minutes and this is my last set it's 100 pounds and i got i think 10 reps so that's how you guys want to do it every every exercise you start with which is obviously going to be a big compound lift is going to be done with reverse pyramid training and then afterwards you know too many people um, who do reverse pyramid training try and do it for every exercise, but it doesn't work that well because it's so draining and intense that, you know, as you as your energy goes down, you want to switch over to just straight sets across. It's a better way to get in some extra volume and hit the smaller movements. So then I went over to bent over rows. This is a fantastic back movement. Carries over really well to the deadlift and the bench press and the squat for, you know, stability and building that area where you rest the bar when you squat. So it's a fantastic movement. You, you guys will notice all my upper body workouts are basically either a bench press or an overhead press paired with a row. You really can't go, can't go wrong with that. That's how all my upper body workouts are structured. So yeah, I just went for three sets of 10 here on the bent over row. All right, so as you guys can see, I always start with the heavy compounds first. So too many people starting with, starting with machines, isolation movements, accessories, but you always have to start big, you know, overhead press, rows, and then finish small. So too many people have way too much shit in their routines, and there's no structure, and it needs to be structured. The first, first exercises need to be compounds, hard-hitting movements, because they take the most out of you. They need to be done first in your workout while you're fresh, so you can hit personal records. But afterwards, you want to finish small because you're drained, you don't have as much left. So always start big, finish small. That's the key when you're natural. So I got a really intelligent comment on one of my recent videos where this guy basically said, you know, what you're doing is not minimalist training. It's just common sense. This is how you train. This is how people train before the steroid era. And he's absolutely right, you know. So call it whatever you want, guys, but this is how you train when you're drug-free. Too many people have skewed perceptions of what real training is because of the current bodybuilding culture and social media, but this is what it takes to build a great natural physique, guys. It's just intense focus on hitting personal records on the big compound lifts, getting stronger at them, which, you know, takes time. It takes time, dedication. You have to persist because it's not this linear road, guys. When you're drug-free, you know, it's, uh, it's a bumpy road. It takes years to really build a, an incredible physique. You know, I've been at this since I was like 12 years old. I'm 18 now. So, you know, I've been at this for time. It, it's a lifelong pursuit. You have to really commit to it and stay consistent. But it's all really, like, it's all very simple, guys. It's, it's embracing a lower training frequency, a lower training volume, and it's really prioritizing the big compound lifts. You know, the key lifts, the squat, bench, deadlift, overhead press, 
weighted pull-ups, rows, dips. These are the movements that are going to give you the biggest bang for your buck. That's what's going to build your physique. So as you guys can see, I'm doing some, some smaller accessory work here. I'm doing some tricep extensions and some upright rows. And I just superset them because, as I just said, I don't take this work very seriously. It's just to get in a little bit of work. Because I know this is not good. This is just the icing on top of the cake. It's not going to provide... It's not going to provi provide the... the meat and potatoes growth you know what i mean it's those exercises you do at the beginning of your workout the big hard-hitting compound lifts that are going to build your physique that's going to produce at least 80 to 90 percent of your results this is just some extra work to get in some extra volume it's really um it's really not that important that's why i just superset it to kind of get it out of the way so i just do like one set one set of uh, triceps extensions and then one set of upright rows are both great movements you know this tricep movement is definitely my favorite and it makes sense to get an extra tricep work because it's a very volume tolerant muscle group you can get a lot of volume into it and uh, helps with your overhead press and your bench press to have strong triceps so the upright rows are fantastic for hitting the side delts even just the whole sh uh, shoulder girdle in general and it hits the traps in the forearms well too so as you guys can see even when i'm doing smaller movements i still try and make sure that it hits multiple muscle groups so even with the tricep extension it's bringing in the shoulder too i'm not just bringing it i'm not bringing the bar to my face i'm really stretching back and i'm bringing more muscle into it because be honest with you like small small single joint movements are not a productive use of your time as a natural lifter that's why i don't do machine work guys not to shit on machines it's just not a productive use of your time when i could be doing big movements that hit multiple muscle groups at a time that's a that's an efficient use of your time because we only have so much energy and intensity to put into our training so it doesn't make sense to waste it on on exercises that are only hitting one muscle group you got to hit those big compound lifts that train your entire body and create that systemic effect and really build your entire physique as a whole that's where you want to be putting your time and training those intensely takes a lot out of you that's why i don't train much you know two three days per week is all you need three to five exercises per workout yeah that's what it's all about in the end it's not about me like trying to entertain people it's like here this is what you fucking do you know what i mean too many youtubers just make content and entertain, entertain people but people don't actually learn anything from the video because like my shit needs to be both entertaining, yeah, have some aspects of that, but more so informative because the fitness industry is full of shit. Mm -hmm. And it needs people to cut through the bullshit, especially for like drug free lifters, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Which is my, my thing. I just hit this fucking side. <laughs> 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 fucking spit loads. So yeah, that's really the workout, guys. So it was four sets of overhead press, reverse pyramid style, and then I did three sets of 10 on the bent over row. And then I did four sets of tricep extensions, supersetted with three sets of upright rows. So the triceps extensions, four sets of 10. Upright rows, three sets of 15 to 20. And that's really, uh, and I'm bulking right now. Take, keep that in mind. I'm eating in a calorie surplus. I'm bulking, so... The workouts are a tad, tad bit more volume, but still very kept under control. Because, you know, the volume game is not the game for natural lifters, guys. I'm sorry, but this whole maximalist bullshit and fucking bodybuilding workouts, it's bullshit, guys. Come on. This is how you train as a drug-free lifter. Don't listen to anyone who tells you otherwise. They're full of shit. They're blasting gear, guys, you know. So, yeah. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this workout. And then, you know, went home, picked up a quick snack. I made some... Fried up some eggs with some toast and some avocado, and uh, yeah, went off to boxing, did a quick boxing session, and that's it. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, smash the like button, you know, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know if you enjoyed this. Just got back from boxing, I'm absolutely gassed, and I'm gonna cook up a nice dinner. I'll probably cook up some, some ground beef, some rice, some veggies, you know, maybe some guac, you know, the usual so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this you know make sure to hop on my mailing list my newsletter is fucking fantastic comes out every week with exclusive content that i only send to my mailing list so definitely check that out i'll leave the link in the description and in the comments and check out my blog i have a ton of awesome content there um full of good stuff oftentimes i find blogging is a, is a lot more um i can get my i can get everything out a lot better can get a lot more in depth with things that don't necessarily come to you in video 
that are easier to write out when you take the time to really think about it. So I really enjoy blogging. I have a lot of really, really good content over there. So I'll leave all the links in the description. You guys can check me out on Instagram as well. I'm, I'm more active on there than anywhere else. And uh, yeah, we'll talk soon. Peace.